Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday. So here I am. Um, just went down to the fancy breakfast uh, skillet of sorts. Um, had a little nibble. I had pineapple. That that pineapple is so good. It is so fresh. And I'm trying to wake up still with uh, Seattle's best coffee. So, but anyways, while I'm uh, drinking my coffee and getting going here, I thought I would give some tips and maybe some tricks of sorts of when you're staying in hotel rooms. Do's and don'ts. Let's let's say that. Do's and don'ts of the hotels. Okay. So first thing, I always take my shoes off. At home, when I walk in the door, I take my shoes off. When I come to a hotel, I'm in just a mindset of I don't want to walk with my, especially my work shoes, right? I work in a medical facility. There's all kinds of grossness. I always take my shoes off. So even here at the hotel, I take my shoes off. Okay. They're off. But you always have to have something on your feet. You have got to have some socks. Usually I bring special uh, hotel socks um, that are just for this event um, that I'll keep right by the, the door. And as soon as I, if, I, if I take my shoes off, the socks are on my feet. Do not walk around in hotel rooms with no shoes, socks, something on your feet. You don't know what has been on this floor. That's all I'm saying. Maybe I'm just a little bit crazy, but that's, you know, it's just in my mind. Okay, next thing. Okay. This hotel, the Hyatt, nice. I haven't seen anything wrong at this point. But they have all of these fancy, uh, you can make your own coffee. Okay. So they actually have ceramic mugs. Okay. And then they also have over here in the bar section of the room and the little, uh, the little, drink cove of sorts they have regular drinking glasses here's my thing how long them damn glasses been sitting there how long do you think them glasses have been sitting there i would rather honestly have the plastic ones for at a hotel the reason i say that is i know when i'm taking that out of the crispy plastic wrap I know that only I have touched those you know what I mean because it's nice to have you know nice little mugs and little water and drink glasses of sorts but I clean them before I use them if I use them I haven't touched them since I've been here but if I were to wake up and like oh my god I'm dying of a drink of, for a drink of water I'd be cleaning that cup before I use it. That's all I'm saying. I don't know how long those, it's cute. It's a cute little setup. They got it looking real cute. They got the coffee cups over by the little kitchen area. They got the little drink cove of sorts. It's real cute, right? But I had to wash them first. I'm just crazy like that. So the other thing, the ice bucket, they got a real fancy one here, okay? So this is their fancy ice bucket. I don't know if you can see here, okay? They think it's so fancy that you don't need to have a little bag in there for your ice. Bullshit. There is no way that I am going to... Let me turn some lights on so you can see me here. There is no way that I'm going to put some ice in a bucket and then make a drink in them dirty glasses. And I'm not... They don't look dirty, right? But my whole thing is, I know they're not cleaning those every time they come in here. And you don't know who was touching on those. You don't know what's flying in the air. You know what I'm saying? Okay, other thing. Very, very important. Do not put your bags on the floor. Do not keep your bags on the floor. First off, you don't know what's on the floor. Second off, you don't know what could happen, right? You don't know what kind of... I, I'm be checking my hotel rooms real good, but I've stayed in some iffy ones where I'm like, you don't know if something to get in your bag, okay? So... I right now have mine on the extra bed. I just have mine up there because I'm not really using that bed. But they usually have in a closet of some sorts here. Yeah, here we go. They have a luggage rack. That is where you, I don't know if I would put it in this closet because it's really tiny, but you would. You could bring that out here and set it out so you can put your bag up. Okay, so you don't have your bag all on the nasty floor. Okay, that's all I'm saying. Another thing. So this little lounge area looks real cozy, right? 
look real cozy. It is cozy. But I'm so crazy, you know nasty stuff's been on there. Nasty stuff has happened on that couch. You know it has. You know it has. So I requested for an extra bed sheet that I cover the whole thing with so I can chill and be not worried about it as much. You know what I mean? This is not like a foolproof way, but it makes me feel a little bit better, okay? Uh, I always check the rooms too, so that's something you should be doing. When you come in, you should take, I take all the bedding off. I take all the bedding off. I'll be checking in the mattress, under the mattress, okay? And then, okay, in the bathroom, check to make sure that it's, it's clean. I sometimes will bring bleach wipes with me to clean things a little extra. And especially if I'm going to take a bath in the bathtub, I am cleaning the shit out of that thing before I get in there. Think about that. I know the housekeepers come in, they clean it a little bit, right? I'm just not buying that it's clean to my standard, okay? The other thing, okay, when you're taking a shower... I, because I am weird about touching my feet on the hotel floor, I string towels from the bathroom, the, I guess that's the bathtub, out to like wherever I'm gonna get ready. So in this instance, I have one there by the, uh, you know, like a, a bath mat of sorts right outside of the tub. And then I jump to the one that's in front of the sink over here, okay? That way, I already have my socks waiting, okay? <laughs> when I'm done getting dried off on this towel right here, then the socks go on before I move anywhere else. Just saying. Um, another thing too is if I hang, like you see the towel hanging up there? That towel will not get reused again. Do not hang your towels up there. They do not clean the bar up there. I doubt that they clean I doubt that they clean that, okay? I only have that up there because I know they're going to take it, okay? But they don't have any hooks except for one on the back of the door. So then when I when I have the door open like it is right now, okay, the towel is going to be hitting the wall. So I use fresh towels every time unless I'm going to be staying somewhere for some time where they have hooks where I can actually put it where I know it's not going to be touching the wall or the, you know what I mean? You just got to be thinking about it. Maybe I overthink stuff. I don't know, but I'm just saying. The other thing, okay, my toothbrush. I usually just bring a toothbrush that I'll throw away when I'm done traveling because I use an electric one at home, and I don't usually bring that with me when I travel. So I usually will, uh, you know, bring a toothbrush, and I will keep it. I open it, okay, I open it. I use it, I dry it off, and I put it back in here so that it stays clean. Now, if I'm somewhere for a while, you don't want to be doing this for a long time, obviously, because your toothbrush is a little bit wet, and it will probably end up getting moldy if you just keep it in a package like this. But if I'm like here for a few days, and I'm making sure that I'm drying it off before I put it in here, this is the best way where I feel like... Housekeeping, they move all your stuff around, okay? They, move, they be moving, I always notice my hairbrushes and everything are moved. So I don't just leave my toothbrush hanging out. I don't just leave anything, you know what I mean? Like, you just got to be aware of these things, okay? Um, what else? What else? got to think about what else here. Mm. So here's a big one, actually, now I'm thinking about it. Okay. So it's only me in this hotel room, right? straight chilling by my lonesome and uh i'm still i'm still weird about some stuff okay so when i go into the bathroom i still shut the door when i go in there to take a shower i lock myself into that bathroom and my phone is in there too here's why okay a couple of reasons first off if you notice most hotels are like this the bathroom is right by the door like as soon as you come into the to the hotel door it's to the left or the right but in this bathroom or this hotel room sorry the uh, the bathroom is straight across so there's the entry boom all the way straight back is so if I'm sitting on the toilet with the door open I can see the front door okay 
My thing is, even if I have that thing locked, double snatched up over there, like everything is, I'm still a little bit concerned that the housekeeping or something's gonna fling that door, even a little bit open, and I'm gonna be sitting on this toilet, right? So when I go in there, I shut the bathroom door. Now, if I'm going in there to take a shower, I'm locking that door. Not because I'm really afraid of, I mean, housekeeping, yeah, they could pop in, right? But I usually double, double lock the door. But in my mind, I think about every sinking, scary, crazy movie that I have ever watched where they be getting killed in the hotel bathrooms, okay? Not today. Not today. So I make sure that I be locking the door when I am going in there, okay? That's all I'm saying. And I'm sure there's probably some other tips that I could probably come up with. Uh, like don't wear, don't, don't watch scary movies where people are dying in the hotels while you in a hotel. It's not really good. It's not good. It kind of messes you up a little bit, okay? So anyways, I got to get to going to work, but I hope you had a great day and I will, uh, I will see you guys very, very soon. Look at these trees, aren't they gorgeous? Absolutely gorgeous. And I gotta go work, work, work here. That's where I'm going right now.